for your next investigations. And then, um, we're doing a few videos read about, about how the whales is Islam. Right, and it's, it's like it's pretty obvious when you look at like the whales word and the, the Islam word together, you know, obviously you turn the M upside down. And basically you got the whales and the whales, you know, like uh, the whale and wall idea. But also, I read, um, look at the Jews' word and the whales' word side by side, read. And again, you know, um, the very sort of similar words type of thing, right? Uh, God basically, <clears throat> say for example, uh, um, you start with the uh, the L, right, instead of the G. So basically make the Lews, you know, the Lews, right? So again, right, you're, you're basically talking about these two words are the same, as you know, like the, the position of Prince of Wales. Is basically a uh, a Muslim and a Jew, you know the uh, the Prince of Wales idea. Um, well, it was totally in the in the, the the Jew religion and the Muslim religion. And they say a lot of things about Prince of Jews. You to you know to, it's certainly one of their ideas in that. There's a thing about uh, Prince, the uh, the pop musician. You know, was uh, not so this Prince and Jews idea. So again, when we have Prince of Wales become Prince of Islam, and also become Prince of Jews, you know, it's uh, simple as really. And they get an interesting thing about Nazi, or usually translated as Prince. Yeah. So obviously, you had the. Uh, the, the World War II stuff. And, uh, you know, it's our sort of everything's here, um, <clears throat> plus the space agency thing and all that, everything's uh, more or less related, you know, by this common theme, like, you know what I mean? of Egypt as I say as Islam is Egypt and all so you know you're talking about the same stuff all the same stuff of course that you know like yeah explains why the Prince of Wales idea is yeah, you know involved with Judaism and Islam you know because obviously you know most people uh, are either are going to be involved in one or other and uh, this sort of character is yeah, in the in the um, with them yeah. If you think about it, it's a bit strange, but when you sort of realise that it's all trans yeah, stuff anyway, it isn't strange, you know what I mean? It's basically the same thing. Yeah, you because know, both of them obviously are the same thing. Just, uh, you know, basically just the geographical locations of the the people are different. But they're both practising the same thing, which is the transgenderism. You know, like the tea tower, you know, the tea tower idea. And the, uh, what's it called? Yamulka? I think Yamulka. Yamaka or something. And the fez, you know, the fez. <laughs> you know. So all the hats on display, like, you know what I mean? And of course, the turban. There, uh, when you have uh, this this piece of the code, right? Eel, right? As we know, like the idea of an eel is basically a drink. Now, like in there, you drink in serum, you know. There, like, uh, when you have early year, right? This code seems to be used quite a lot, as you see. Early year is like a grassland pasture, similar to the Moors idea, right? And then um, also uh, in the uh, a local education authority, you know, it's quite uh, used quite a bit. Is this good? Plus a lot of layers, you know, like these uh, characters, and there's a lot of layers of it. You know, they're, they're obviously uh, they're all on the princess layer, no? 
Now the uh, Princess Leia of the Star Wars and This one here is supposed to be a beauty or something, yeah. It's just a pure trance, you know what I mean? You tell her I the sort of, you know, the uh, very thick hair and, you know, wide apart eyes and all that. Of a trance, again, called Leah, and this one was in the uh, blue is the warmest colour. It was in the blue is the warmest colour movie, which was about lesbianism. You know, like, and that's if you look at the stories, do the mere care. You look at the movies nowadays about the uh, homosexuality, you know, trying to encourage people in the homosexuality. Yeah, and this one was a blue lesbianism, it was like in there. Uh, of course, the blue, like uh, the blue mosque, and the blue lodge, and all the rest. Because I think they want the European ones to all turn towards it, the homosexuality, you know. And basically, and then help me and import the, uh, like the, the Easterners, the multicultural ones, and that. And then basically take over and that sort of dominant rule and they, uh, you know, repopulate Europe with their uh, multiculturalism. Co produced and directed by Abdel Atif Kecic. It doesn't seem very. French or not, you know what I mean? It seems um, totally Arabic and that. So you can see that the multicultural influences are uh, in stuff like this, you yeah? know? There's a blue mosque who tells. Lodgings near the blue mosque in Istanbul. The blue mosque, Sultan Ahmed Mosque. Istanbul and uh, the Ottoman era which is obviously a lot about eunuchs you know the most famous thing about the Ottoman era is the eunuchs and as you see the uh, again the syringe representations Get the blue and the blue and the blue and obviously the blue to do a wind and as you see they use it in hex a lot here yeah, like just like this one very recent here yeah they're you know, using in the air hex of blue wind blue and of course winds are you know like the winds are near yeah. and the wind rush of course that was one of the things and i wanted the wind rush Like things like um, nuclear war, things like uh, when the wind when the wind blows or something. So used a lot in hex. You know, they were wind idea. You know, like uh, God be a city. It's a God idea. You know, wind. You see all that stuff totally goes into this uh, this movie, which was when the wind blows about nuclear attack. This was one of the biggest hexes here yeah, that they put in in the basically destruction of Europe and the destruction of nuclear families, which is what it was about. It, you know, devastating the nuclear families in, in an effort to sort of um, post Holocaust rebuild with multiculturalism. You know, that's what it was all about. And of course, this was one of the biggest hexes growing. One of the Buddha nuclear bomb idea, you had that Fred's one. T.H. Reads, you know, threads in this one. So, you know, it's a direct idea to, to, to that stuff, read. Jew of Jim Bloggs, you know, like a Jew of Bloggs idea. Basically, you see him BS Hex here, you know. Still out of the uh, devastated the nuclear family and then rebuild with multiculturalism, see? And all them gone with the wind. <laughs> they want the natural type of peoples is gone with the wind so they can rebuild with the multiculturalism.
See what I'm saying? The transplants. The transplants. In the, this layer, we have the H at the start, like you get heal, you know, the heal and the sick idea. Leo was Jacob's first wife again, you know, James, Jacob, Jacob, and all the rest, Israel, and all the rest. And there's Levi, you know, yeah, like Lewis or something, you know, it's all, all the same Kurds. He has three sons. You know, like that free, uh, free princes idea, that song and that, which is like the twelve princes who the, uh, you know, it's, it's just all runs round in the circle, like. And obviously, we had the layers of the love it, yeah, princess layer and all, of course. Leah Thompson in the Back of the Future. You know, the back of the future, it's, it's like it gets kind of going round in a circle idea, you know, hex. This is one of the main actresses in that. The sissy. <laughs> Jaws, you know, like Jews. So just, you know, you see what all the words is about, basically. Princess Leo and the Star Wars, yeah. This, this one's the liar, you know, stick an eye in for this one, it's a liar. Organa, the sex organ. And um, obviously these was very, very popular movies. But again, the star, you know, the stars that they were the Eastern star. You know, the same, the Islamic star idea, the Eastern star, and the star rams, the Royal Archmasonry. As you know, all the, all the characters in it are basically representative of Sumac. You know, the day with all this stuff, um, like for example, Han Sulu, that would be Sulu as opposed to dualistic. So you're like a natural idea, but he's like an outlaw, you know, so you're like they make an outlaw of this, of the natural person. You know, chew bugger, yeah. Again, he's a Wild West idea, it's like chewing tobacco and all that, right? Them little characters called Jawas, you know, it's obviously like the same as Jews type idea, and that's the same as Java, which is coffee, you know. So you, see, you just keep going round in the same circles with all these codes and that. Them Sandman idea, again, that's, you know, the twin sons idea, trans, right? And, uh, this has got to be some type of like an uh, Berberish or Moorish type of idea, you know, that they, um, these ones like. In desert world. Of course, you know, very there's a lot of multiculturalist ideas in the Star Wars. Where the um you now for example when they're all in the uh, the cantina or something and that and there's all these different alien races together. You know, so we're basically using that or brainwashing kids with multiculturalist ideas. You know, of all these sort type of um Races, they like in the mixing together and all this, be like you know, cantina, you know, in the the, the the band playing, like you know, which is a famous aspect of the Star Wars, and it's you know, it's a classic uh, lamb type of thing, you know, like the Alistair Crowley's lamb and all that, and uh, Jacob, you know, I'm just seeing that there, right there, the hub of underworld activity, you know, like the Mos Eisley and Moses, you know. Moses idea, read. Of course, you had the character Admiral Akbar, you know, like Allah, Allah Akbar. And uh, this Allah, Allah Akbar one was in charge of the attack on the air uh, against uh, the ship or whatever, you know, if you remember the movie, they were trying to bomb this, drop a bomb through the little hole or something. And uh, this one led the attack, you know, at Allah Akbar, so it's obviously an Allah thing, in you know, the Islam thing, you know. Military genius of Akbar. <laughs> the battle cry by Islamic groups, <laughs> end of. <laughs>